Hi, my name is Christina Drake, and I'm the founder and CEO of Kismet Technologies. So I am a huge Trekkie. I love Star Trek. I started watching, and I stumbled upon it just one day. Star Trek Next Generation was playing in syndication at 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time and I watched it every day for six years and I was just so just drawn to the character of the chief engineer, uh, Jordi LaForge. He was maybe the least charismatic character um, and so but he was the one that was always saving everyone's lives just by doing his job. When I decided to go to college, I wasn't sure what to get a degree in. And so when I was thinking about what degree should I do, it was, well, Jordi LaForge did engineering. And so not having ever taken a physics class before, I signed up as an engineering major. At the start of the COVID pandemic, uh, when Orlando was under lockdown and everyone I think was on high alert and a little bit agitated, um, for me personally, my experience growing up being an asthmatic um, and being sick and in the hospital, I think made me um, hyper aware of just the ability to catch um, an illness. So I had gone to a grocery store and as I was going to get milk, actually a employee um, stepped in front of me to disinfect the door, sprayed it down, but immediately wiped it off. Um, and even though I hadn't been in the disinfectant space prior to that, I knew enough that you had to have a disinfectant on there longer than that for it to actually work. Um, so as I was driving home, um, partially because I had nothing to do once I got home because we were under lockdown, I obsessively researched disinfectants trying to understand why does it take so long to do this? You know, if we can do CRISPR um, and edit genes, why is this not a problem that's solved? So what we've created is a nanomaterial that is able to replicate what hydrogen peroxide does um, at a very small scale and it takes water and converts that into something that can actually kill a virus or bacteria when it comes into contact with it. Once that virus or bacteria is no longer presenting as a virus or bacteria, the mechanism shuts off. And so it ends up being as gentle as water um, to a human. The SBIR funding that we pursued um, was important because when I had the idea for you know creating something that is completely different from how we uh, currently disinfect, it was an idea in my head. Um, investors don't pay for new ideas in your head that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to just get an initial proof to see if the science even works. So the SBIR program is important because in high tech, high payoff technologies, it gives tech entrepreneurs a way to actually vet whether or not the science is real. Um, and in those places, that's where you get innovation. Um, is in those really big stepwise functions and technologies. So it plays a very big role in helping um, people who are tech innovators get that initial funding to actually do the proof for their um, potential product. Mm -hmm.